like it's glorious out here. You want to go on? No, let's just stay here. I want to drink it all in. The moonlight, the pampas. There's a southern cross up there. Where? Just about where it used to be. Oh, it's more wonderful than ever. And so are you, Mrs. Mike Bradley. are broken, and our play comes to its close. But Joan Crawford and Francho Tone will be back in a moment for a curtain speech. Two and a half million letters and postcards from movie fans are received at the studio. For the movies discovered glamour, it was just an old Scotch word meaning a spell cast by magic. But a good two-word definition of the term today would be Joan Crawford. She is, of course, one of the best-dressed women in Hollywood. And I seem to have contributed to our leadership in style because I discovered her designer, Adrian. In fact, Adrian asked me to look at the first gown he designed for her. I agreed and waited for her to come to my office. After a while, there was a knock at the door. I said, come in, Joan. The door opened. Joan took one look at me and fled, apparently in terror. I didn't know until this week why she ran away. And think the reason is one she'd better explain to you herself, Miss Joan Crawford. Tell the truth, I was scared to death of Mr. DeMille. I had visions of entering a room in complete darkness and suddenly finding myself underneath a blinding spotlight with Mr. DeMille seated on a throne and shouting, It won't do. The shock of finding a human being was too much. I had to run. Yeah. It's time to do something when beautiful women run from you like they do from uh, Hoppo Mark. But no need to apologize, Joan. Your performance tonight makes up for everything. My congratulations to you also, Francho. It's been great playing on a program that Joan and I listen to so often, C.B. And I'd like to congratulate you on the way you speak. Joan and I call you the final G-man, because you never drop a final G. <laughs> but I speak an entirely different language on the set. Out there, Jenny isn't a girl's name. It's an electrical generator. A high hat isn't something you wear. It's a camera stand. A lily isn't a flower. It's a good take or scene. I once asked a new assistant director to rush a lot of babies on the set. In ten minutes, he was, <clears throat> he was back with about 50 children. And what I wanted was some spotlight. You learn more in pictures than a new language. For instance, Clark Gable learned to swim. And we were making change. The script called for several swimming scenes. And Clark couldn't swim a stroke at the time, but I taught him how. And in return, he taught me how to shoot a gun. Personally, I'm a chess player. You can see where Joan gets her complexion, C.B., <laughs> Swimming, shooting, she's out of doors all the time. In just a minute, dear. If you were a little more observant, you'd know that Lux Toilet Soap has lots to do with it. I've used Lux for years at home, on the set, and I even carry it with me when I go away. It's really wonderful. So that's the secret, is it? And here's another little secret, C.B. Joan's taking singing lessons. Oh, won't you sing for us, John? No, Mr. DeMille. Joan? Joan, who ever heard of saying no to Mr. DeMille? No. Well, millions of people just heard it. But I'll make up for it by announcing next week's show. Oh, thanks. Next week, Barbara Stanwyck and Fred McMurray will be with you in the Lux Radio Theater. The play is Main Street, adapted from the famous novel by Sinclair Lewis. And with two such marvelous plays, you can look forward to a really great program. My thanks to you all, and good night. We'll be listening in next Monday. Good night, C.B. Good night. Thank you, Miss Crawford and Mr. Tone. And lots of success to both of you in your new Metro-Golden-Mayer picture, The Gorgeous Hussy, soon to be released with Robert Taylor, Lionel Barrymore, Melvin Douglas, and James Stewart. Our cast tonight included Gilbert Emery, Wally Mayer, Lou Merrill, Frank Nelson, Margaret Seddon, Walter Solderling, and Leora Thatcher. Miss Crawford, Mr. Tone, and Mr. Hinsdale appeared through courtesy of MGM. Our play, Change, was based on the MGM photoplay of the same name, which starred Miss Crawford and... It's the pictures that got small. 